Singing can, um, can teach us lessons about our body. It can teach us lessons about who we are. Um, I will take you back for just a few years to a time when I was in the Florida Gospel Music Awards and uh, I was one of these young people. I was raised in the Church of God and I was one of these young people that would we'd go out and sing every weekend until I became hoarse. And uh, then when I would go to work on Monday morning, I couldn't answer the phone because they couldn't hear what I was saying. And it didn't dawn on me that I was abusing the body that God had given me. I was abusing my voice and my body by doing that. And so this Florida Gospel Music Awards event was, was coming up and I totally lost my voice the week before. I went to a throat specialist and he said, um, he checked my throat and sat down in front of me and said, Rita, he said, I'm gonna tell you now <clears throat> that if you don't stop what you're doing, by the time you're 22, you won't even have a voice to speak with, mm -hmm. much less sing with. Well, this really frightened me because my voice had been my life. That, had, that was what I had, had, had sustained me my whole life. And so I began to pray and I began to repent of abusing this gift that God had given me and my body that God had given me. And um, I, he gave me some medication to try to help me for that particular week so that I could go to the awards. Um, the awards came when I went that Sunday morning. Um, I was still very, very raspy, and I just, I knew that I was not going to be able to sing. I just knew I was going to have to walk up there and say, I, I withdraw. I just knew I wasn't going to be able to compete. I went around behind the building. It was this huge metal building in Florida, and, uh, and I started praying, and I said, God, I know that I'm not worthy of this. I know that I'm not. But I want you to know that I repent and I promise you, you know, you have to be careful promises you make to God because he says if you're going to make a vow, don't come back and say, oh, I didn't really mean it, you know. And I had been taught that. I had been raised that. And I knew how magnificent this promise was I was making to God. I said, God, I will never abuse my voice again if you will give me the strength to sing this song this morning. <clears throat> I walked in there. I walked up on stage. I introduced the song in that very same raspy voice that I came with. And they play, it was live accompaniment, they played it off. And when I opened my mouth to sing the first word, my voice was as crystal clear as it had ever been in my whole life. And I sang that entire song. I won second place in that competition with a song that God had given me, that I had written. And when I walked off that stage, it was like God was saying, just needed to teach you a lesson. And I made that promise and I've never gone back on it. That's one of the reasons I went back to school was to, um, see if I could find a way to do what I do without, you know, being hoarse. Yeah, your voice. Without right. putting unnecessary straining and causing myself to be hoarse.